let's fucking do this. So the plan was for me to head into the city and hang out with my boys. Someone who's been a longtime fan of my content, dating back to 2017. But I found out a day in advance that he was going to be out of commission. So I had to go it alone. Turns out I had parked at some parking garage 10 minutes away from where I was supposed to go. I was going to a place called McGilligan's. One of the, it's actually one of the oldest bars in the city to watch tonight's game. Against the communists. And its season's been agony for them so far. The Carson Wentz experiment has officially backfired on them. He'll he'll miss six weeks. So far, Heineke is slowly bringing them back to where they need to be. But nonetheless, they view they had us winning by a lot. So I hung out on the bar. The game starts. Their offense takes the field first. We get a strip sack and get a touchdown off of that. Okay, so far, so good. But that's when everything starts to fall apart. The game has been pretty shit for the Eagles for the most part. The defense couldn't stop a goddamn thing. Oh my god, it's like having no established run game and backing your corners 15 yards off isn't a viable way to succeed. Especially when on third and shorts you had your your safeties 30 yards back. It's so frustrating to watch on so many levels. It's not even funny. It's like we were playing prevent on nearly every goddamn possession, every goddamn drive. I believe they burned about 30 minutes in the first half alone. I mean, our offense did our offense did get up 14 to 7, but it would have been really nice if our defense got a stop. And then next thing you know, Next thing you know, they tied the game at 14 and then we were able to and they were able to take the lead. They were able to take a 20 to 14 lead heading into the half. It would have been really nice if our defense was able to get a stop. Hey offense, I know you're good and all, but try scoring from deep within your own territory. It's damn near fucking impossible. <laughs> Once again, playing down to our competition, the same old shit. It's a tradition dating back to the days of Dick fucking Vermeil. But would you call it that? Or would you call it playing like such putrid ass that it falls further down the abyss? As bad as our defense is, our offense made pretty key miscues in both halves. I mean, eventually, Nick Sirianni probably threatened to break all of their phones, which led to us getting a sack, preventing them from scoring another touchdown and only settling for a field goal. And us getting within two. I mean, we were in scoring position near the end of the fourth quarter. But it's not enough. The Eagles lose. To the fucking communists. A communist team that is missing a few of their key players. A communist team that's been broken for years due to neglect, incompetence, and corruption. A communist team with no true momentum. This is extremely damning. This defense has fallen hard. It's been covered up by big individual performances and weak opponents for weeks. This was the last fucking team that I wanted to lose to. At the beginning of the season, I didn't give a shit what happened. I wanted to sweep these motherfuckers. And you took that away from me. And the lamb has been stripped bare and is surrounded by wolves. The Emperor is without clothes, and he's in the middle of the fucking town square for all to see. Imperfections and all. Like I said, it wasn't just defense, there was multiple offensive miscues, and bad ref ball, missing a blatant face mask, and Quez Watkins deciding at the worst possible time to fumble the goddamn ball. I don't want to... I don't want to hate on Watkins just because of that. I really don't. I know some people probably will. This team has been the product of an elite offense. And they just displayed it for a national audience. When you, I know it's not the end of the world yet. I get that. But Jesus fucking Christ, this is alarming to see. You're supposed to, I thought you were better than this. You're supposed to be better than this. 
Now you have to prove us all wrong again. And now it gets a bit harder. When you lose to a team you should crush, expect to be crushed by anyone with a pulse. And now it gets even harder. Next week is a game in Indianapolis with Jonathan Taylor, a tailback. And the Colts got momentum with Matt Ryan back under center and Jeff Saturday being impressive in his debut. Good luck there. And then Aaron Rodgers. Oh, we're going to talk all the shit about how he owns the Cowboys. Well, I got news for you. He owns the Eagles as well. Totally worth, la- totally worth laughing at the Cowboys, isn't it? All you motherfuckers. <laughs> the Cowboys not he. Shut the fuck up. We still had to win our game. And we didn't. Are you fucking happy now? Fucking celebrating way too goddamn early. I guarantee you if the U.S. military celebrated like this after every little battle, I guarantee you we wouldn't even have a goddamn country. Oh, technically we don't with everything that's been going on lately. This team was supposed to be different. This team was supposed to be past all the bullshit. Now you have to prove me wrong again. It's totally worth it. I hope you're happy, you fucks. God fucking damn it! And also, to make this night even worse, I didn't end up finding any good-looking girls that I wanted. Or anything. Although, sports isn't exact, sports nights aren't exactly the greatest for that type of thing, but... And I was, like, walking... I spent, like, walking... I spent, like, forever walking around a city because I forgot where I parked my truck... Thank God I found it in time to kick the camera on. I thought I was going to have to wait till the next day. Whatever, man. This night has been a complete fucking failure for me. Hopefully, things start to pick back up, but honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> I swear to God, if this team starts to look like this in subsequent weeks... I'm going to be on their doorstep, knocking on the door, and the motherfucking mattress, and I'm